Well, guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. And today we got another one of those videos where I actually uh, got recorded on that same day that we had uh, the previous video. I'll link it in the card right now in the top right hand corner that we actually. Uh, it was, it's about probably t five miles down the road from that dairy farm that I got those videos. Sorry, a little bit distracted. I'm actually in the airport right now. Some guy walked right up next to me. But anyway, so uh, this is a farm right down the road from that dairy. It's actually my high school classmate's farm that I going by. I haven't seen him in a while. So I figured I'd stop in, and sure enough, they're working ground right next to his main house. So I'll kind of give you guys a little bit of background um, on these tractors. I'll give you guys some awesome footage. And just from the feedback and comments that I got from uh, a couple other videos that I asked the question like on these drone type videos would you rather have music or kind of me talking and explaining uh, you guys wanted more talking and stuff uh, you guys preferred sound tractor sounds but I can't make that happen uh, that's that's for the professionals like Mike Les and big tractor power but I will get as much drone footage and and as little music as possible guys so I'm gonna give you guys some specs of the tractors and just kind of talk about them but if you guys do like this type, let me know in the comments below how you like this type of video. So it's going to be raw, unedited, basically just me watching the video and talking about it. So, so anyway, this is uh, my, my my buddy's farm. He's actually in that little batwing mower right there. Um, this is my buddy's farm, right down the road. It's kind of right in between some of our farms. So I drive by it all the time. I haven't seen him in a little while, so I stopped. I believe I'm chatting with him right now in that little corner, um, chatting and showing him how the drone works. But basically, he is working up a bean field. He normally wouldn't work this up like this, but uh, there was just so many weeds. They actually took the batwing mower and mowed all the weeds down, and then his sister's actually disking right now. That's he's, So she's in the in the New Holland 86, 8730, I believe. I believe it's an 8730. And then he's in his white 2-105. So I'll kind of give you guys a little bit more, more information about both those tractors. But basically, he a little bit about my buddy, he is a white fanatic. He's got a lot of white and all of her tractors. He actually runs a business. I'll link that down in the description. Blake's tractors he 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 actually moves quite a bit of Oliver's and White's and a bunch of other tractors that I don't really have very much experience with but I will kind of give you guys a little bit more details about this awesome blue new uh, blue Ford tractor it's an 8730 and it sounds awesome it was even rolling coal in a couple places I don't think I ever got it uh got it on camera but that's kind of their farm in the background there they, it's it's a dairy a little bit about their operation it is a dairy farm but all of their dairies are down near Davenport we're actually only five miles from where I live that's where they have all their milking cows and their calves are are raised up here from my understanding it wasn't like that all the time but i believe they went to that operation five ten years ago there's some coal but but yeah so and they also have some ground up here and down in davenport that they use so they kind of shuttle equipment back and forth um i do not believe this ford stays here the whole time i don't ever remember seeing it when i when i was around back in high school but that's a nice little washout she's going through right there but so this ford actually was built the Ford 8730 model series was actually built between 1990 and 1993. It's actually the 8030 series. This 8730 specifically, uh, it, had, it was built in Belgium. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it. I believe it's Antwerp. Antwerp. Antwerp, Belgium, for an original price of $56,000. It's got a 75-gallon fuel tank. It does not have any death, surprisingly. We're government juice. <laughs> but, I mean, built in the 90s definitely doesn't need it it's got a 140 claimed pto draw bar and then i was pto power and it was actually tested for 140.68 horsepower which is actually surprisingly close you really rarely see uh pto number or claim numbers as very close to test numbers and it also tests 124.84 horsepower at the draw bar which basically means you have you have your engine horsepower so your engine was rated for i don't know probably 145 but you also you always have inefficiencies due to the gear train um so like you got the output of the engine then you it goes it goes into the transmission and transmission actually how you manipulate the power to get your different speeds how do you run your pto and etc so your pto is always pretty is a lot closer to your engine than your draw bar because your drivetrain th to get to your PTO is literally in mo some tractors just out of the engine and out a uh, different shaft that goes through the transmission straight to the PTO. Whereas a draw bar has to go engine, PTO, usually a drop box, and then down to either axle, front, especially in this tractor's case, which got front wheel 
mechanical front wheel assist. It's got a lot, and then it's got to go to the uh, planetary towards the axle, and then the axle. So that's how it gets the power. So it usually it usually loses a lot of uh, it usually loses some efficiency. But these tractors are basically your kind of row crop tractor. They have a three point hitch, a rear PTO. It's got a full cab AC heat. It's actually a decent shape as you can kind of see right there. Um, but it was it was a really cool tractor to see. Like I said, I really I really enjoyed seeing that. I never really seen that. I wish I would have hopped in with it. It would have been kind of cool. But it's got a wheelbase of 111 inches, which is a decent wheelbase. Basically, a, the distance between the front and rear tires, center axle. So it was a really cool tractor to see. And then this is the white, um, I believe, 2-105. How that works is your two is your is a two-wheel drive. So there are, there was a a two-dash series and then a four-dash series. This was the uh, Field Boss series from White. I believe White actually was a formation of Oliver Cockshut and Minneapolis Moline. All three of those uh, companies kind of joined together to form the White series. But anyway, he's driving a two-dash 14. If it was a four-dash whatever, two-dash 105. If it was a four-dash 105, it would have mechanical front wheel assist. But um, he's just got that, and he's pulling a Batwing, Batwing mower, John Deere, I believe it, CX-15, so a 15-foot, and CX is their base model. Oh, and the 8730 is, is pulling a disc. I'm not sure what it was. I think it was like a 16-foot, 18-foot disc. So the Batwing mower is destroying the weeds beforehand, and uh, the 8730 is disking up afterwards. So a little bit more about the white. So a 2-105, two, 2 means two-wheel drive. A 105 is 105 horsepower. Um, and that's at the, I believe that's at the PTO, yeah. So 105 horsepower claimed, and it's actually tested for 105.61. I, and I apologize if you guys can see, like I said, I'm in the airport, so I apologize if there's any extra, any extra noise. But And then the drawbar horsepower, there's about 85 horsepower there at the drawbar. It was made by White. I could not find where the factory was made for these. If you guys know where the factory was made for these, let me know. The original purchase price of $37,000 in 1982. Um, it's got a wheelbase of 110 inches, which is pretty close to that 8730, and it's got basically all those other all those other attachments. Three PTO. It's got uh, three point hitch. It's got close center hydraulics um, and a bunch of other stuff that I'm finding on Tractor House. But that was a really cool tractor to ride and see running. But so this is um, a really cool area. Cause you, that road you just saw there was kind of a. Um, it goes into a valley that where we're facing right there that timber was actually where i really paintball back in the day back in high school he was always really fun he had like old uh old uh what are they called trail like pickup bed toppers he had toppers back there old trailers barrels it was just a big kind of course back there and this is it was right in between so like his house this bean field and that timber which you can kind of see back there so i remember i have a lot of memories doing that but but that's Josh. That's Josh right there driving that tractor. That's a white T105. So that's kind of all about. All. I only got about a minute left of this video, guys. But I'm actually, as I mentioned before, I hinted I am in the airport. I'm gonna be heading down to Texas right now. So who knows what I'll see? I got some really cool drone. I got two videos of me back on the farm, which I filmed a couple days ago. I'll probably release after this one. And then I got two really cool videos of some stuff I found down in Texas. I filmed it when I was down in Texas. I'm really looking forward to that. Like if you guys like that first crop chopping video, you guys are gonna love this. Let's just say. Uh, uh, double the machines minimum so really cool stuff coming so that's what i'm going to be doing there and then i'm actually going to be in north dakota so i'm going to be down in texas for two weeks and i'm going to be flying straight up to north dakota so who knows what i'll see up there i know a couple people reached out once i heard i'm going to north dakota so i might see if there, i got time to maybe go over and check out some of their operations there is a potential that i might be visiting a famous youtuber who knows but so as you guys can see, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Heart Tongue Family Farms. And of course, guys, as always, ta-ta for now, and thanks for watching.